I like to listen to music, often on earphones, especially Broadway music. But you know what? These earphones, they're good ones. And it came with a label that had a warning on it. It said, this item contains substances known to the state of California to cause cancer or reproductive problems. Whoa, that's kind of scary. This is uh, thanks to Proposition 65, a law in California that says that if any item contains any substance that in any dose, under any circumstance, has caused cancer or reproductive problems in an animal, that warning has to be on the item. Well, what does this really mean? To me, not a whole lot. Because in order to evaluate risk, you have to take into account the means of exposure and how much you are exposed to. Not just whether or not there's a possibility of some harm. You have to have an evaluation of what the degree of that harm is. Well, I suspect that in this case, the label warning was because of a chemical found in the insulation here. And uh, that is uh, something called a phthalate. These are substances that are used to make the insulation flexible. They're called plasticizers. And yes, in large doses, they can cause reproductive problems in animals. But unless you're going to be dining on earphones day in and day out, I don't think that there's any kind of risk. It's like a crying wolf. And when the real wolf comes to the door, no one's going to listen. But the reason they put these warnings on there is because there have been all kinds of frivolous lawsuits. So companies want to protect themselves, and they will slap the warning on everything, which basically means that that becomes part of the background and no one cares about it. Well, if you want to talk about some real risks, barbecue season is coming around. So we are going to start barbecuing. And before you barbecue, you've got to clean that grill. And very often, we use these wire brushes. Well, you know what? These wires can sometimes come loose. They stay on the grill. You put the food on there. They get in the food. You swallow the food. And you can get pain in the mouth, pain in the throat, sometimes even in the intestine, when one of these bristles gets embedded. Roughly 130 people every year in North America show up in emergency rooms complaining of pains due to this. This is a real risk not a phantom risk like we have in the uh, earphones. So what do we do about this? Well, you can either make sure that you clean the grill after you've cleaned it with this brush with a, with a, a, a cloth, make sure that there are no bristles hanging around, or you can use one of these nylon brushes, and then you don't have to worry about the wire bristles. But that's a real risk as opposed to the uh, phantom risk that we talk about with the, uh, with the earphones. However, if you really want to talk about a real risk when it comes to barbecuing, food heated at high temperature, when you're grilling your meat, that will form all kinds of nasty compounds like the benzopyrenes, the advanced glycation end products. Those are things to avoid. So barbecuing is fine. It's a lot of fun, but it's not something that you want to do on a daily basis. On the other hand, I think you can listen to your music, whatever kind you like, on a daily basis with these earphones without worrying about it causing cancer or reproductive problems.